Right, we've got a double whammy for you this week. We've got two beard washers. Right, we'll start with the first one. This is a bulldog one. I have done the uh, beard balm stuff before, which it isn't really a balm, it's more of a uh, butter, I would say myself, but have a look back at the video if you want to see that one. I'm not a massive fan of reviewing mass-produced stuff because it's average, um, there's no heart gone into it, it's mass-produced, there's a lot of shit in them, um, just so they can last on the shelves for months and months and months. Um, I'm not even going to bother reading the ingredients on your back one because that'll make the video too long and two because I can't be asked because there's a lot of stuff in there that I can't actually pronounce. Um, they have to be full of preservatives and stuff so they can stick them on the shelf for a year basically. So we'll start on the Bulldog one. This one's more of an aloe and green tea one which I'm not really a massive fan. It's a good soap but the, the recommended amount they say you pump into your hand to use, I'd probably quadruple it. I think it says, it says massage, massage a small amount into your beard. No. I put a couple of squirts on my hand and barely touched anything. Was no, there was no lather, there was no soap, nothing. So I pumped about eight squirts into my hand and then that was where we were getting. We managed to get all the beard in, managed to get it all nice and foamy which is what you want. You want it to go straight into the back and into your skin as well. You just don't want it touching the front of your beard and then not getting the full benefit of it. But having said that, after you have had a good lather and it is all up in your face and you rinse it off, you can feel your beard is a lot cleaner. It even squeaks a little bit when it's wet and you run your fingers for it. The basic um, beard wash, I would say, yeah, it's not too bad. Um, it's something good to have on your shelf in your bathroom if you do want to get your beard clean and you don't want to use normal soaps because they will dry your beard out. Um, as for price, they you can't find a normal price on this. I think in Tesco's they're about six quid, um, but I think I managed to get these from Boots. Uh, probably for about four quid but they range from so many different prices you'll just have to have a good look about but yeah Tesco's I think they're about six quid all right now for the next one this one spotted this at Tesco's as well this is the L'Oreal men expert one and um, yet again mass produced I know but you if you don't try them all you're not gonna know are you? pleasantly surprised with this one gotta say it this one's more of a cedarwood essential oil, so it has got that nicer, musky uh, smell to it. It's got a fragrance to it. This one, more green tea and stuff, is it's just you, it's clean. But this one actually gives you a very small cologne smell, and it and it makes your beard smell nice, which was a massive thumbs up to me, um, because it's nice to have your beard smelling nice. Um, you don't have to use as much as that, nowhere near. If I stuck eight squirts on this, then there would be one hell of a bubble cloud on my chin. Um, yeah, probably three or four of this, and you get a really good lather with it as well. And I know it's all uh, foaming agents, but if, it's still got some pretty good stuff in there. Yet again, really long list of ingredients, so I'm not even gonna bother trying to read it. But it's a good soap i'm not going to deny it. this one is a very good soap and you do feel very clean after and you can feel the difference and the smell is so much better definitely way better smell for this one but there is a downside to this one the price at tesco's at the minute i think this is 10 quid a bottle that's a lot for beard wash you're basically buying soap so to buy soap for your face they're charging you 10 quid that's a lot. I've spotted this before and I specifically didn't buy it because it was 10 quid. The other one, six quid. Not too bad, you, you can live for that, but 10 quid is a bit too steep for me. I passed it one day and it was actually on sale for £6.66. So as soon as they put that down at £6.66 in Tesco's, I bought it because that's a reasonable price. I'm not paying £10 for beard wash. And the thing is as well, is they're both the same size. It doesn't look it, but this is 200 milliliters and this is 200 milliliters. It's just the way the bottles are. So you're not paying for more volume, but on the side of having to use it and how much you have to use, you probably have to use twice the amount of this one to this one. All in all, if you're looking for a half decent beard wash and you don't want to spend a lot, the Bulldog one's fun. It's a nice, decent shape. I'll always have one in the bathroom just because they're cheap and easy to get hold of. As for the L'Oreal one, 
I will buy this again. It is a bloody good soap, but I will not pay £10 for it. I will only buy it again when it goes on sale. But when it comes to which one I prefer, it's this one. It is a better soap, purely because you don't have to use so much of it, and it smells better. Right, that's it for this video. So do the old usual, the like and subscribe is very much appreciated. Uh, the next video I've got coming up is nothing to do with beard stuff. I'm going to be 3D printing a life-size Iron Man mask in a one -er. So not parts and gluing it together, I'm going to glue it as a one because I've just upgraded and got a bigger printer. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time. Ah.